Well, we're joined now by the uh, country's leading influenza expert, uh, Professor John Oxford. And uh, on the front line of the flu crisis, we've got uh, our own Dr Sarah, who joins us live from her surgery. We'll talk to her in just a second. But first of all, uh, Professor Oxford, um, is it an epidemic? Should we be worried? Because those do appear to be quite alarming figures. Yes, they, they do appear alarming. Uh, there's not an epidemic at the moment. I must say, my, my, my little virus, my influenza, has been blamed for all kinds of things, including the crisis in the National Health Service, which is not caused by that up to the moment. That crisis is caused by lack of investment in the National Health Service. Um, but the flu, yes, I mean, it, it's not alarming, but it is worrying. I mean, I'm a bit worried myself. And I'm particularly worried by the figures which show that the virus is creeping into the over 65 age group. Right. And it's that group which is most vulnerable just because of age. It's that group that gets into medical issues and gets into hospital. And it's that group where you have the mortality normally. So that worries me particularly. So we've got these two strains of flu. The one that everyone's talking about is Aussie flu and Japanese flu. And you say flu is categorised into three main types, A, B and C. So, yeah. so what is the difference between these flus? Well, they look the same. Mm -hmm. um, they all cause influenza particularly the A and the B, the symptoms. So there's not much difference as regards that. And you, you ask the question, why? What's so special about Australian flu? I don't know what's so special about right. it. It could be there's not been much flu around. Uh, it, same in Australia. They didn't have much flu in the preceding two or three years. Right. Then in comes this H3N2. Everyone, no one has an immunity except for those people who've been vaccinated, and they get caught. And it could be the same here. We've not had much of a flu year for several years. Mm -hmm. It's been very quiet. It's been very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Because now, this, it, this year we could have an epidemic. When it takes a grip, uh, the, the, the death toll is quite dramatic. Isn't yes, it? yes. It, it is taking, you're dead right, it is to take, take a grip. And none of us quite understand why it does. I mean, even at the moment, the figures, the curve is going like that, which looks a bit scary because you don't know where it's going to end, do you? But on the other hand, it could dip over and come down again yeah. or but, but, continue, continue upwards. It, so we, we don't don't know and so the best thing is well keep yourself prepared as if it is going to keep up yeah. get everything ready get everything ready and then we'll we, we could almost like save ourselves